ho, look what we got here, folks. Yes, that's right. This is Tim from Tim's Cards and Comics with another video. And look at this. The Topps 2019 Holiday Box. Baseball cards. And I can't believe it's already almost Christmas time. I didn't even think it's giving it. The Halloween just ended. The summer just ended. Baseball season just ended. The World Series. I can't believe it's been... Oh, man, it went so fast. But now we've got the 2019 Topps Holiday Baseball Card Box. One relic autograph or autograph relic card in every box. The only reason why I bought this box is because it's guaranteed to have an autograph or a relic card in it. Ten packs. Exclusive packs. Is that what that says? It's in the black again. They put... Sure, I'm very good at yeah. <laughs> the designers need to to uh remember that some people can't read black on green or dark colors on on dark colors. Oh never mind. Oh look what we might have here. New for twenty nineteen player worn holiday <laughs> Oh come on. <laughs> Seriously? Player worn holiday hat relics and autograph relics. Isn't that what we always wanted was a holiday a Santa Claus hat that's been worn by Mike Trout? Well, that might be worth some money, right? I'm laughing, but it's it just it's a silly thing. There's the odds on that side. There's a couple more cards. Of course, these have the uh, 10 cards, 10 packs per box, 10 cards per pack, 10 packs per box, 10 cards per pack. And if I get one of those guys right there, or I get this one, I'd be amazed. I probably will faint. You'll see this camera crash. No, the camera probably won't move, but you might hear a big crash in the back there. Me fainting because I got such a tremendous card. Knowing me, I'll probably get the lowest minor leaguer who never will be anything relic card. That's what it usually happens. Sorry, I'm knocking the mic or the uh, camera around. But all right, here we go. These are the tops. So it's uh oh, security. Ooh, they got them laying down flat this time. How about that. All right, here. All right, empty box. Back on. Give me a second. Figure out how to put it back together. There we go. Get that out of the way. It didn't look fat today. There, we we'll look at those packages. Ain't that neat? All wrapped up for Christmas. Oh, man. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. None of the packs seem to be any fatter than the other one, so I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll find out. Be great if this is a good autograph card coming out of here. You know, somebody. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Pack number one. Let's have some fun. Opening pack number one. Oh, look at that. They're even holiday looking on the back. This same design, but look at the coloring. Ooh, look at that, even on the front. And then it's got, I don't know, now snowflakes this time. It's like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, oh, I don't know, holly, whatever it is there. Christmas poinsettias or something, I don't know. <laughs> whatever. Buster Posey. Domingo Santana. Whit Merrifield. Austin Riley. Oh, yeah. Ronald Acuna Jr. Good start, starting pack right there. Yep. Let's, oh yeah, there's the back again. It also has the HW prefix on it there. Ah, Orlando Garcia. Spencer Turnbull, Detroit. Rookie card. Cool. Austin Allen. Oh, what's this? It's backwards. Oh, no, it couldn't be. Could it? Nope. <laughs> it's just a Reese Hoskins. 
and backwards. That, that's not that's not fair. Put one backwards like that, make you think you're gonna get somebody good. Get his autograph, Tim Beckham. All right, that's pack number one. Pack number two. Come on, give me that trout with a Santa hat on. Uh, All right, here we are. Smeltzer, Devin Smeltzer. Dominic Smith. Michael Franco. Or Michael, I don't know. Nomar Mazzara. Eloy Jimenez. Uh oh. We've got something here. We got the sparkling fancy Anthony Rizzo. There it is. The sparkling metal variation. What is it again? Oops, sorry about that. There it is. We'll put that one there. We have Ahmed Rosario. Edwin Diaz saying, what? You gotta be kidding. What's the matter with you? You stupid umpire. I don't know if that's what he's saying right now. Trevor Bauer and Xander Bogarts. All right, two packs down. Let's get to the next one. All right. All right, we have Clint Frazier, Jake Odorizzi. Ooh, Carl, I mean, Mike Yastrzemski. No, I, mean, I did that on purpose this time. Mike Yastrzemski. Rookie card, by the way. Justin Verlander, loser of the World Series. Too bad for him. Yeah, I was rooting for the Astros, but only because Justin Verlander was on there. Oh, well. Uh oh, another back one. Backwards one, Raphael Devers. Could it be? No. I guess not. All right, hang on. This, this, this is something. This is the short print. The tree in the background. Just check. There was the number. The number down here is different than the regular ones. So that means that other one that was turned around is probably another short print. These short prints, they said, are not quite as rare. I can't remember which card it was now. Somebody help me here. We can edit all this part out. Yeah, it was the Reese Hoskins. Let's see what this one is. Hang on. Whoa. This is actually the rare one with the Christmas lights in the background there. In the dugout, I mean. See that? So that's that's not bad. I don't know how rare the rares are. That's what they call it in this Beckett thing here. Let's move on here. Edwin and Carcion. So if they're turned around, they could be the the variants. Trey Hamilton, Billy Hamilton, or Trey Turner. Excuse me, Turner. There you go. Trey Turner. Uh, Billy Hamilton, Jason Hayward, and Miguel Sano. All right. So it's, you know, these short prints are more readily available, so they're probably not going to be like $150 cards or anything like that. Who knows? All right, Harold Ramirez, rookie card. I can hardly see the rookie card up in amongst all that Christmassy stuff. Mitch Hanniger, uh, Hunter Dozier, Yasiel Puig, Nolan Arenado, metallic sparkly doohickeys all over. Bryce Harper. 
Cole Hamels, Elvis Andrus, uh, Masahiro Tanaka, and Wilson Contreras. All right. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six packs. That was four pack number four. This pack number five. Let's come alive with pack number five. Uh, sorry about that. There we go. toss some of those down there. We'll pick them up later. All right. Looks like Chris Davis, John Duplantier. Plenty here. Ooh, Aaron Judge. All right. Uh, Thario Estrada. Freddie Freeman. Adam Jones. CJ Cron. Galaber Torres. <coughs> Excuse me. And Chris Bryant. A few stars in this one. Javier Baez. <laughs> That's an interesting picture, huh? Alright, there we go. Alright, pack number six. Alright, here we go. Nicky Lopez, rookie. Lorenzo Kane. Taylor Clark, uh, Jeff McNeil, Yon Makata, Ron Kata. Oh, another one of the sparkly ones. Griffin Canning, and from from El Reyes, German Marquez. Eddie Rosario. <laughs> it's like he's out in the middle of the desert or something. <laughs> Clapping. Josh Naylor. Right, number seven. Come on, seven, come on, lift. Number seven. By the way, you get these boxes at Walmart. Just in case anybody wanted to know. Scott Kingery. Austin Meadows, Noah Syndergaard, Corbin Martin. Oh, there we are. Oh, 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 it is. It's Freddie Freeman. What did we get of Freddie Freeman? The hit is Freddie Freeman, and it is, it feels like a, uh, it's a patch card or whatever. Freddie Freeman. No autograph, fooey. <laughs> All right, so it's a Freddie Freeman relic card. Let's see what it says. Congratulations, you've received a relic card from 2019 Top Walmart Holiday Mega Baseball. Oh, this is a Mega Baseball. Well, why didn't they put that on the box to call it a Mega Baseball? Who knows? This relic contain, or the relic contained on this card is not from a specific game, event, or season. So what the heck is it? Oh, I say, I, no, I was going to say, no, I guess not. Well, what do you think, folks? Is it part of his shirt, part of his pants? Hopefully not part of his underwear. That'd be pretty nasty. It looks like a, no, never mind. I think he gets that from sliding in dirt, not from, you know what. So, Christmas gift from Freddie Freeman. Could have been worse. Somehow I knew I was going to get something from Freddie Freeman. I, I just had this in my mind to start with, that the, the card was going to be a Freddie Freeman card. I don't know why. I would have preferred an autograph, but a piece of his... Hopefully that's a piece of his jersey or something there. All right, Kevin Pillar, Victor Robles, and Adam Octavino. So I guess that's going to be our hit. Too bad we... Maybe we'll get another one. Those are not as thick where they show up. Of course, they might have only had less cards in that pack. I didn't count. Maybe you counted along. Here, we'll... Oh, who cares? CC Sabathia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's Green Canning again. Griffin Canning. Griffin Canning. Uh-oh, we're already into doubles now. Here's Anthony Rizzo. Oh, the other one was sparkly, though. So, that's all right. Nate Lowe. 
There's the sparkly uh, David Price. I call it sparkly, but I know it's got a better name than that. Who cares? It looks sparkly to me. Okay, Francisco Lindor with that broken neck look. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that every time I see that, and what do we have here? You see Kikuchi. Rookie card. Yeah. George Polanco. Jorge, Jorge Polanco. David Dahl and Robinson Cano. Two more. And there went our hit. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I don't like to put stuff up like that. I don't have anything to hold them. Looks like that corner's already messed up. To, to, let's see. Yeah, who knows? Let's put let's, let's set them down because it's going to get messed up. Alright, two more. These are nice cards, but they're kind of expensive, and I don't know if I want to put up more money for them right now. Kirby Yates, guys, Monty Grandel, Matt Chapman, DJ Mayhew, Blake Snell, back with Shohei Otani. What do we have here? Is this going to be... All right, this is a... I know it's one of the. Let's come back to that and get these out of my hands here. There's Rafael Devers again. Ooh, Miguel Cabrera. That's what I wish we got an autograph of. Oh. Carter Kaboom! Rookie card. Kaboom. And Lucas Giolito. Alright, hang on here. Let's figure out which Otani this is. This is the so called super rare Santa Belt version that's got to be pretty good because that these are only one in 161 packs or right around one in 16 boxes whoa what is Shohei Otani that has got to be a good card right there folks super rare Shohei Otani Santa Belt card that is better than the uh, hit I think could be anyways. Awesome. Woo. I don't think I've ever gotten anything that there's only one in 160 or in 16 boxes or something. <laughs> Maybe that's not that great. I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be. All right, last pack. Luis Arias. Tyler O'Neill. Justin Smoke. Oh, the regular Shohei Otani. Base card. Jean Carl Stanton. And one more of the sparkles of CC Sabathia. Can you, I don't know if you can see the sparkles on the camera or not. I guess you're seeing them in real life, but well, anyway. Andrew Benatente, Michael Conforto. Uh, Carlos Correa and Ryan Helsley. All right, well that was really a nice box. Let's uh, kind of go back through All these right. here real quick. I'm gonna... Okay, we're back. Uh, here's a recap of what we got. We got the sparkly foil cards of Anthony Rizzo, Nolan Arenado. Griffin Canning, David Price, and CC Sabathia. We have the variations here. The Raphael Devers with the Christmas tree in the background. The Reese Hoskins with the Christmas lights in the background at the dug dugout. If you can see those going around in there. And the Shohei Otani Super Rare Santa Belt Variation. Super Rare. I think these were rare. One of these was rare and one of them was just an SP. But that is a Super Rare 
what did I say, 116 boxes, something like that. Yeah, one in 161 packs. There it is on the back. I'm going to see the numbers, if you can read them, I don't know. It's coming in clear or not. Pretty cool. And her hit was not bad. Not the greatest, but not bad. Freddie Freeman relic card. Not worn in any particular game, blah, blah, blah. I don't know where he wore it then. If he didn't wear it in a game, maybe in practice or something. Like I said, it could have been better, could have been worse, but we'll take it. Is Freddie Freeman good player? Not some scrub there that's here today and gone tomorrow. All right, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe. That you'll uh, hit that share button, hit the notification bell. Come back again next time for another great video. Okay, maybe not so great, but <laughs> we hope you will come back for another video. And we will see you again next time. So long.